Hey everybody, so if you remember in a video a little while back I mentioned how I had the wrong size tyre on the back of this for a long time. Very long story short, the stock is a 140, you can go up one size without causing any profile issues on the tyre. Uh, and I did that, but I didn't realise that the stock was 140 and not 150, so I ended up with a 160, which meant that it was actually too large for the rim, which meant that the profile was more turned over and meant you would never get to the edge of it if you tried. Well, if you, if I did try and I never got close. And it was a Michelin uh, Road Pilot 2. So, what I've done now is I've got some uh, Pirelli Rosso 2s on here. Huge thanks to Pirelli themselves for giving me a little bit of a discount on these uh, to basically give you my opinion on them, because I've never tried them before. Uh, but as it turns out, these were the exact tyres that were fitted to the uh, Zero Electric that I had for a week or so and did videos on, and I found those to be great. So I'm hoping that's going to, you know, transfer to this. Now, what is going to be even more interesting is the fact, as I say, I can now compare a 150, which was, sorry, a 160, which was too big, to a 150, which is correct, because this has got a four and a half inch rim before anyone says, but if stock is 140, why go to a 150? The profile is still correct. So it's, it's not a problem. However, as I found that Zero to have such fantastic handling, it would be interesting to see if this bike will be in any way similar to that, because it is a supermoto, uh, it's roughly about the same size, we've got about the same size tyres, the same sort of um, weight and stuff. It will be interesting. If this gets even close to what that Zero felt like, I'm going to be so happy. But I have done about 100 miles on this so far. I haven't really pushed it too far, as you can tell from the strips on the side of the tyre. I'm working my way into them. Um... I haven't noticed a huge difference, but there is definitely a difference. Don't worry, I'll be the one to move out of the way. I have to say, this bike is running so nicely. Like, the, the best I've ever felt it. I'm not talking about the tyres, I'm just talking about the engine and everything, because I've just done a whole rebuild on this bike. Uh, not the engine, but that's... That's also had some work done in recent times. It's just so punchy. God, there's big blood splot. That is definite blood on the road. Oh God, something got hit. Of course, something I have to try and separate in my mind is the fact that round new tyres always feel a thousand times better than your old square ones. Anyone coming? No. Let's try not to catch up too quickly. Right. Yes, instantly. I know that that corner, I have to feel like I'm turning the bike a lot more to get it around at that speed. And again, on this one, See what I mean? <laughs> I've come all this way, a bit all this way, 10 miles, um, just to see on corners I know very well. Yeah, this is massively better. I think a lot of it's to do with the front as well. But. That feels good. That is the best this bike's ever felt. Another thing that feels good about it is the suspension. On the rear, if you remember, I changed the damper for the old one that I bought off Phil Tonic years ago. Didn't know if it was going to be okay. Didn't know if it needed regassing or anything like that. Changed the spring on it. Put it on the bike. I oh, know it was too hard. I've just ad adjusted the uh, compression and dampening a little bit. Just to soften it up very slightly. And it is massively better. The turning is definitely better. Um, I'm not fully convinced it all has to be because of the rear. I, I, I don't know, maybe a lot of that is to do with the front tyre on the DR on this before was completely dead. That's why I got the tyres sorted at the time that I did. Um, so that's going to be a little bit of a confusion to this. It's not a fair test. I really, it would be very interesting one day to try, you know, like this bike with a brand new set of tyres and then try it with a brand new oversized tyre to see how much worse it is and maybe even go up step and step and step up with that to see how far 
you know, how it would throw things out. Now, I don't have a big enough channel with a big enough budget to do something like that, but I'd love to see someone do that. Get the correct tyres on a bike, and then keep increasing the rear size until you've, like, you know... Ah, there's a fly in my eye! Do you know, some flies are like pepper spray when they get in your eyes. Like, some, you don't really notice, they're just there, they're just like, uh, squidge, squidge, and then they're gone. Some of them sting. Like, really sting, like you've got a bit of hot sauce in your eye. Again, it's one of these things about this bike. I know on paper this is not the best bike in the world. To some people, they will not get it. But for some reason, to me, it clicks every switch I like about a fun bike. Oh yeah! That is very, very pleasant. The thing that's so much better is the fact that I don't feel like that I'm getting close to the edge of the bike's like grip levels. You know, in the past, with the oversized tyres and admittedly the front tyre, which was a bit, I had it, you know, halfway through a corner, there's times where you feel like the front end is pivoting a little bit, like it's losing its grip. Uh, was that the one I was supposed to go up down? Uh, I go up down. <laughs> where now, this is sitting, like when you lean it over, it's turning at a much tighter radius and it feels like it's got more to go and there's nothing getting weird. It doesn't feel lost or anything. Which of course makes perfect sense, but I wanted to try it out on it to see how much of a difference it made. And I have to say, before I did this video, before I got into these roads, I was like, I don't, it's, it's not that different. I mean, yeah, it's different, but it's not that different. Well, yeah, it is. Another thing that is really nice, and the more I use it, the more I feel like I just love it, is this Righteous Stunt Clutch made by Righteous Stunt Metal. I've got a video of fitting this. If you want to know more about it, look into it, but seriously, this is such a difference in normal riding. I know it's a stunt clutch, you know, it's made for clutching up wheelies and stuff, but for normal riding on this, it's, it's lovely. front end as I was getting further further over then starting to become a little less gripped but that's because the side of the tires new so I'm working my way into it yeah mm. that was not as fast as the zero which is CBT legal but god it sounds good I mean, I love it. I truly love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, Mr. Pigeon. Mr. Pigeon doesn't love it. He is now a squidgeon. Okay, well I can safely say it definitely does make a big difference. If you have a DRZ 400SM and you have a 160 on the rear, next time you change your tyres, drop it down to a 150. Maybe 140 would be even better, but I feel like a 150 is about where I'd like it to be. It also helps with tyre choice because there's more options, to my understanding. Uh, but I'm very, very happy with the handling of this bike now. It feels 
less skittish. Not that it felt that skittish before, but it, you know, it feels less skittish. It feels more planted, more positive. Um, firming up the suspension and rebuilding the front suspension as well, obviously, is going to have helped a lot in this. There's a lot of things that would have gone to have helping this feel this much better than it did before. But the tyres have definitely made a huge difference. I didn't think it was going to make that much of a difference, but you can just... I kind of feel like in the past you could almost feel the back end dragging itself around. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed, I'd appreciate it because I'm on my way to 100k. And uh, if you'd like to really help this channel out, consider supporting my patron for many benefits, including some raw and edited vlogs that I've been doing more recently. So until then, bye bye.